Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show how you can track calls to a phone number on your website in AdWords. So this is very useful for tracking conversions and uh, I'll just show you quickly what uh, what this does. So if somebody comes to your website from AdWords, uh, you're not going to know if where they came from if they call this n uh, phone number. So what AdWords offers is it's called phone forwarding and it allows you to use a unique phone number and, and AdWords uses a local number and this is available in Canada and the United States and I believe in, in the e EU or the UK. And what this does is it actually shows a forwarded number to the person coming from AdWords when they land on your website. So what we're going to do is you add a, a, a snippet of code and what that does is, is it replaces that number with a unique phone number for every single AdWords user that comes in and it records you know where they came from if they came from AdWords and if they called you and how long they stayed and it's also worth noting that the phone number that Google is going to replace your number with is going to be a local number so it's not going to look like spam or it's not going to be a 1-800 number it will be a local phone number okay so let's jump right into it so uh, this is the old AdWords interface this is the new one I'm going to walk you through both of them so what you got to do is in the old interface just go to conversions and then add a conversion click phone calls click right here so you're going to name this for the value you're going to don't assign a value here you can enter how long uh, you want to record how, how long each phone call will be considered as a conversion so we'll put 20 seconds or you can even put 15 leave all this the same save and continue then you're going to enter your number here exactly the way it appears on your website so we're going to copy it enter right there and we're going to click create tag we're going to take that now for, for this website and for all our clients we use a Google Tag Manager it's just the, way, the best way to, to manage tags and analytics codes so if we go to Tag Manager you can see we have that installed and we have the Google Analytics tag and we have a tutorial on how to set up Google Tag Manager so you can go to our channel and, and look at that so you're going to click new tag configuration and you're going to go custom HTML here you're going to add the code, just copy and paste it and name your tag. And then we're going to go triggering and add it to all pages. And we'll click save. And then you want to click submit, publish continue okay so if you come back here just click uh, click done here and then you have to click uh, go to call extension so here you're going to click right here and go call extensions and you're going to click add extension now you have to add your number. We're in Canada, so so then we gotta get this number again. And this is only available in the United States and Canada, and I believe in the EU. So just check if if call forwarding is available. So it says right here. And we'll click save. And click save. Okay, so now if we go incognito here. You want to check if it's implemented. You're going to click right here. And you can see website call metrics is right there. Okay, so we're going to close that down. And that's how you do it. Now, I just wanted to mention if, um, if you have a business that has several locations with different phone numbers for each location. And you'd like all those numbers to be updated or to track conversions separately for those numbers. So the way you would do that is you would go through the same process that we just went through here. And you would actually create a new conversion the same way that we, that we did. And I did that right there. I just created a new conversion. So if you just go here 
you know, click phone calls and, and follow that same process. And then what you're going to do is phone number here. So here's your phone number. You're going to enter that, that other phone number and you'll cl click create a t create this tag. And then what you're going to do is you're going to copy that tag because it's going to be different because your phone number is different. And you're going to go back to tag manager. Triggers. You're going to go right there. And then what you would do is underneath this tag, you would add this new phone number. Okay, and you might want to add a comment what each code is so you know for the future. But uh, that's how you do that. And then just uh, don't forget to save and publish. And then go back here, uh, click done. And then you're going to want to go back to your uh, ad extensions and just add that phone number, that new phone number there so it can be tracked properly. And you can only add one phone number per page. You can't add multiple numbers. Alright guys, if you found this video useful, please like it. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section below and we'll reply within 48 hours. Take care.